So good afternoon, everyone. So I hope you had a wonderful week. Uh, I had uh, last week. So <clears throat> this week, God willing, we will be able to learn uh, from where we left off. Yeah. So last week, uh, we, uh, we were trying to start our, uh, this year's session <clears throat> uh, from the book of Gospel according to Matthew. So we st started with the genealogy and we wrote, uh, we understood why it was uh, written. So on the verse, who wrote it? And uh, so why it was written? And on the first verse, uh, Kevin read for uh, the we learned about Jesus the Messiah. So the book started confirming that and the purpose why it is written. John in the the author wants to affirm that Jesus is the Savior. He wanted to ensure the Messiah. One of the Messiah, he is the Savior. Abraham. Abraham characters second milestone David. David Kapro milestone Jesus. In the genealogy, there is nothing interesting. So this after this, this after this. So most of the my childhood time, I've always uh, oh chapter one skip, I mean skip and and it's very difficult. We don't understand. We don't have take home points, and I just leave that. And when we really read it, when I grew up and when I started reading, the importance of genealogy we will understand. Another it is very important because that genealogy. Matthew capture that is the only uh, evidence to prove then and that without any extra effort, this will prove the entire hierarchy from Abraham till Jesus without any disconnect. Things did not go here. Oh, no, no, Jesus came from somewhere. And people are in the John, hey, who are you, man? Jesus, we never heard of you. Hey, who, who are you? Uh, is it? I mean, uh, people wanted to know, uh, discredit him. We don't know this guy. We don't know this guy. I mean, uh, he is not part of, uh, he is not significant. I mean, uh, they try to prove it. But uh, in the hierarchy, how closer he was with David, uh, hierarchy, how closer he was with the king. Uh, king's family and in his generation how many kings were there but also we also learned through Peter when Peter wrote and also in Hebrews through him that kingship God wants to give to us but not only we, we are chosen to be serving God as godly priesthood but like him on the Royal priesthood, kingly, the Raja Rige and the Abishigam Pandapata were on the Bhagyata under Nibuddha. Royal priesthood. You, you are king as a king and you are a priest as a priest. So that is the significance of Jesus himself because he, Hebrew Lapacho, he came in the descendants of the in the pattern of Melchizedek. Hebrew, I think we spent a lot of time. So the pattern that God wants to give us. So if you see the hierarchy, so from Abraham, and then we could see a lot of kings and the king of kings. God wants to, if you believe in him, God wants to give that royal priesthood, king, and the kingly uh, blessing, but also the uh, being in the altar in the heaven like a priest. That is the royal 
priesthood blessing so and the blessing namak kodukonu aasapadu so that is very important to know this hierarchy so this is going to help us so last week we uh, captured a few uh, things about about this hierarchy so we uh, i'll just recap a, a few minutes and then we want to move on okay so key, key characters we start with the abraham abraham pati i told you a story where i told you about lot yeah? so lot had a story matitri uh, i wanted to cover a little more did he have a child he did not have child uh, of his own or the promised child till uh, 19 years apa he tried to scramble he he wanted to somehow make child and that was a curse for him apa nariya prachana avan nimma adukapra nimmadi illama appa abdin to vaala vendi or he came to pushing where he could live peacefully adukapra paathina god promised him and then gave his child apa abraham time like key points abdina he made sure he did not fight with his nephew when he uh, and his nephew when he took the best beautiful things appo nephew on the lot on the nephew go on go one time la sanda var sanda varumbodhu yangitte sanda podriya maavana vachu senjiruva appinda avan sollu thirin fight he told the lot we are brothers we should not fight if you go that way i will go this way abinte rendu veru purinju po so we talk uh, talk a lot about unity but there is there are some times we have to obey god and we have to be separate bible nari example adu kurinju sollam appa in the paul and barnabas so they got separated by the holy spirit uh, so a separated is not always bad so in this idle patina they don't want to kudi and epo paathalo eliyum poonaiyum bodu sanda putte irukranga so that is okay no it's time for you to be separated appo rendu perum poranga appa lot kekkarar you want something abram kekkarar you want something abdi lot paakkarar oh wow abram vechirukra that garden looks like godly garden romba super ah irukku devudey thotam maari irukku i want to take the best he took the best from him oh abraham okay da yo ya best da tu eatane oh my god he took the best out of me na ivula naal seethu vechirundha ellathiyum adile cream of cream seethu poyita he didn't lamb he knew that god will bless there was a time uh, on king uh, uh, he came oh come on have all these things give the people to me he told dear king be very careful i don't want a history to happen that some guy some some guy on the earth blessed abraham no that is should not be your record because i believe in god and i don't want to even take a small thing out of him. நம்ம ஊர்ல எல்லாம் பாத்தீங்க அப்படின்னா இருப்பாங்க சரட்ட சரட்ட அப்படின்னா இந்த கோகோனட் எல்லாம் பாத்துருக்கீங்களா கோகோனட்டோட உள்ள உள்ள கோகோனட்டோட இந்த பிளஷ் எடுத்ததுக்கு அப்புறம் உள்ள இருக்கிறது சரட்ட சோ அதை வச்சு நம்ம நாங்கெல்லாம் சின்ன வயசுல அண்ணனுக்கெல்லாம் அருள் அண்ணனுக்கு தெரியும் நாங்கெல்லாம் வண்டி ஓடும் தோஸ் ஆர் த வீல்ஸ் அதை கனெக்ட் பண்ணி அதை வச்சு படம் பண சரட்ட வச்சு adala vachi nanga we will make wheels and we will have vehicles like a, like a car or something we will make stick together appa adha thavurthu adha vachi enna oru use illa maybe we can burn certain things abraham says on the charatta on the open the shell of the coconut i don't want to even take that which is not worth of anything appa that is the mindset of abraham god blessed him god and gave him child and he gave him promise huh? and other thing he was also called as a friend of god apa there is all uh, all about there is lot more to tell about abraham but that's what we need to uh, know about him isaac in pato isaac again he did not have child he had the son of his uh, father or or time la pata abina 
வாட் ஆர் தேலஞ்ச் ஹி ஹேட் ஹி ஆல் சேட் அங்க வந்து வாட்டர் ஒரு பஞ்சம் வருது ஆப்ரஹாம் நாட்கள் இல்லாத ஒரு ஒரு டிராட்டர் ஸோ வாட்டர் வாட்டர் இஸ் எலிக்சர் ஆஃப் லைஃப் இல்லையா எலிக்சர்னா அவன் வாழ்க்கையின் தெய்வம் வருது அப்ப வாட்டரில் அஹ் அங்கங்க தோன்றாங்க அங்க பார்த்தா அங்கேயும் சண்டை சண்டை வந்து சண்டை வந்துட்டு இருக்கு அப்ப அந்த இடத்துல ஒரு எனிமி இருக்கு அபிமலைக்கு அவங்க வந்து டார்ச்சர் பண்ணிட்டே இருக்கிறாங்க சம்டைம்ஸ் அவங்க எல்லாம் உட்காந்து வேடிக்கை பார்த்துட்டு தான் இருக்கிறாங்க ஐஸ கூட சண்டை போடுது ஹி மூவ் ஃப்ரம் ஒன் பிளேஸ் டு அதர் அதர் பிளேஸ் டு அதர் ஹி ஸ்டார்ட் டிகிங் வெல் அண்ட் வென் ஹி கேம் டு ரெஹபோத் ஹி ஸ்டார்ட் பில்டிங் பில்டிங் தட் வெல் அண்ட் தேர் வாஸ் நோ கான்ஃபிளிக்ட் அதுக்கப்புறம் இந்த திஸ் கிங் வாஸ் லுக்கிங் அட் இந்த பையன் ஐசக்கு நம்ம கிட்ட வந்துகிட்டு ஹி இஸ் குரோயிங் லைக் இட் now what i will do i will make a covenant with him because he is growing too much one day he will overtake me so <clears throat> he came uh, isaac so it's time for uh, me to have a covenant with you because you guys are growing too much you should not destroy us so you should make a covenant abinte end the satru the enemy made a covenant oh don't destroy me அப்படின்னு சொல்ற அளவுக்கு இனிமே காட் பிளஸ்ட் இப்ப ஒரு டைம்ல வந்து அந்த அவங்க இருந்த பிளேஸ்ல ஒரு டிராட் வருது எவ்ரிபடி ஃபீலிங் ஃபார் த பெஸ்ட் எப்படி நாங்க எல்லாம் இந்தியால இருந்து அமெரிக்காவுக்கு வந்திருக்கோம் எக்ஸ்பெக்டிங் குட் திங்ஸ் சிமிலர்லி பீப்புள் ஒரு ஃபீலிங் டு ஈஜிப்ட் அங்க அங்க ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டிஸ் இருக்கு அங்க ஃப்ரீலேண்ட் இருக்கு அங்க எல்லாம் சாப்பாடு எல்லாம் கிடைக்குது பீப்புள் இஸ் ஃபீலிங் த கரண்ட் பிளேஸ் இந்த இவெண்ட் டு Egypt. Apo, one day, oh, everybody is going. Come on, man, Isaac. Are you dumb? Everybody is going. You also have to be migrating. You have to pack up. You have to pack up. Man, God told you. Come on, Isaac. I am telling you. Though it is wise in a worldly pattern, there is no food here. This is a dry land. I am telling you, stay here. I am going to bless you. கூட உள்ள ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் சொல்லிருப்பாங்க blessed him 100 times so this is all about isaac isaac but you know nariya story solla romba interesting but this is good enough so abraham saved the lord he believed in god he became a friend of god he became a father of faithful viswasigalukku thagappan he is a father of faith அப்ப இவரு பார்த்துட்டோம் ஐசக் பிலீவ்ட் இன் காட் அண்ட் ஹி காட் ஹண்ட்ரட் ஃபோல்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் பிளஸ் ஜேக்கப் யூனோ ஹீஸ் அ சீட்டர் ஹி சீட்டர் இஸ் பிரதர் ஹி ஃபிளட் அவே அங்க போனா அவனை சீட் பண்றதுக்கு இன்னும் கொஞ்சம் பேர் காத்துக்கிட்டு இருக்காங்க இஸ் ஓன் அங்கு சீட்டடும் ஸோ தென் ஒன் டே ஹி ஸ்டார்ட் ஹி டோல் தட் காட் வாண்ட்ஸ் டு மீ கோ கோ பேக் அங்கிருந்து புறப்பட்டு வர்றாரு புறப்பட்டு வந்தோடனே அவன் பிரதர் சண்டை போடுவாரு அப்படின்னு பயந்து 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 வரான் பிரதர்ட்ரேட்டர் and even today and he he told that you will become a nation and till now he, israel is the smallest than india israel is smallest than united states israel is smaller than any other nation but even today including national nation for covid israel is unshakable in in agriculture technology food processing technology they are the top and they are we have 
the differences are unshakable no nobody can strike even put a missile into israel that is how it is protected people try to wipe israel from the history in 1900s israel was totally out of the map but god promised israel jacob he told that even in the last days wherever you have been scattered i will collect them together in the last days even as you see right now they are put together as we are in the last days so god has put things together right so now you see israel okay we can tell a lot of stories about israel this guy uh yeah, he had 12 uh, children we know about joseph joseph and story and also how joseph came to egypt and all these stories uh, we know i i covered a little bit last week okay adukapra enna pattom juda juda i told a very emotional narration of juda last week right so how why juda is so important in the history of messiah so why other people also had concern for joseph but why juda played a very vital role according to the bible juda means praise according to the ellar meter but he went ahead of israel apa jacob and when they were trying to meet joseph juda was going forward ya abina yuda avanuk mumbala port so he was pioneer to his children for one reason because he is the one who assured the life of benjamin his son appo israel lord yan pillainga senthalum paravalla na vandu if i don't bring benjamin back you can kill my children who will tell that so and the assurance he gave for that sacrificing his own to be giving an accountability so that is one reason jesus who gave his own son and there were a unison or similarity here we can see it here so next abbe and the verse ile we want to cover only important things okay so there are a lot of we will uh, go to the character of boaz and ruth you might have uh, heard the history of ruth in the story ungalku nalla theriyum boaz who is boaz abina boaz or the mother or the pair uh, rahab so uh, if probably we can read that verse all ya read pan machine read pan the ma china you can read matthew chapter 1 um salmon the father of boaz whose mother was rahab boaz the father of obed whose mother was ruth obed the father of jesse we are so close to david hmm? so uh, we skipped a few characters there but we we are here the rahab etna per and rahab abindra character kelvi pidringa bethni shina kevin want to try so shina can you just try is getting yeah wow excellent say so anybody want to narrate the story i wanted to give an opportunity A short narration. You can whatever you know. Kevin or Sheena, even somebody who wants to narrate. I think when they send two spies to go scout the city, which is a fortified city, she is the one that houses them and doesn't let them like let the other people in the city know that they are there on behalf of Israel, and she helps them escape. Okay, excellent, excellent. So this is the uh, way the story goes. Joshua, not our Joshua. So the Joshua of uh, that's in the book of uh, Bible. So that Joshua sends two spies to the city of Jericho. You know, G- uh, city of Jericho is a very big uh, wall surrounded. It's very too. Uh, டிஃபிகல்ட் டு பெஸ்ட் அப்ப அப்ப இவங்க வந்து when they sent to two spies அங்க the two spies went in அந்த இடத்துல போய் they found raha she is a prostitute by profession so she accepts men and 
அந்த ரோல் நமக்கு நல்லாவே தெரியும் பட் தீஸ் டூ மென் வென் தேர் தி ஸ்டே அப்ப இந்த ஸ்டே பண்ணும் போது ஷி டெல்ஸ் ஃபியூ திங்ஸ் ஷி ஹேஸ் ஹேர்ட் அபவுட் காட் பீங் வித் how god delivered they they have heard how, how god is delivering and bringing them from egypt and they heard all the stories wherever they went how god delivered them from their enemy and she also says whenever we heard our heart melted imagine how they will be crippled with fear but rahab was very uh, fond to help these people and he told them, we i am ready to help you the army of soldier men came immediately see two people came into so the army has a very good eye nalla or investigation power you know my cia fbi many they have intelligent agents so immediately oh we saw two people in rahab house immediately news spreads like fire one near as the soldiers came knocking at rahab house hello we heard two people nothing to say she had a choice either they have to support her or support these people so what is all she does she stood in in favor of people thereby not only delivering them but helping them to capture that wall of jail so adile when the scarlet card so was the sign so they, they put the scarlet card and made them escape out of the wall and the story namak theriyum so there was a wall she put she was living in the wall so she put a, a scarlet red color scarlet in the sense it looks like red okay there is a card she throw so these two people they climb down and then they escape so after getting gathering the intelligence joshua and team they can't go in the city walls so we know that story so rahab so she was a prostitute she was a bad person but she stood in favor of that so when joshua and team came and destroyed the whole uh, thing so they saved rahab so rahab eventually though she was a bad person but she heard about god and she stood in favor of god and godly people so that Uh, they uh, they were protected and also they will be able to destroy the enemy so alkapram badan raha married salmon who happened to be a person from juda she was a canaanite she was a non uh, non jewish but she married salmon who happened to be from the descendant of juda salmon and the boras and boas okay so you know when your mother is uh, or at least the world treats that her mother is bad eventually uh, the son will also undergo certain things but here boas turned out to be a finest man the bible talks about a lot about boas in the roots the book of ruth you know the story of ruth okay Let, let's move from rahab to boaz right uh, so any questions with the story of rahab bethany any other questions will come on dan dan bethany are all any uh, questions so in the story of overlook you got a picture i didn't go to the details but on a high level this was uh, this is the story purinjidalama hmm? dan purinjidala ah uh, amma go purinjidala okay very good ma இந்த ராஹாபோட சன் தான் போவாஸ் போவாஸ் அப்படின்ற கேரக்டர் எங்க வருது அப்படின்னா சோ இட்ஸ் கம்மிங் இன் துக் ஆஃப் ரூத் கேரக்டர் ஆஃப் ரூத் ரூ ரூத் இஸ் நாட் அ இஸ்ரேலைட் சோ நஹோமி வாஸ் தேர் மதர் இன் லா சோ நஹோமி காட் ஹிஸ் போத் த சன்ஸ் மேரிட் டு Uh, different girls so unfortunately those two uh, uh, people died and then uh, there was a drought and when they have to flee for food so they come to a place where boas is there 
Boaz being a, a merchant and a owner, and he is managing all the harvest. Generally, you might have seen in Tamil movies or any anywhere in this thing, the harvest pond roller. But hey, what are you doing? Huh? Inna enga ready but padar thi kiya. Pane, abinte people will command, right? So there are some good characteristics of Boaz. So Boaz is coming. So by the time Ruth started picking up all the leftovers, right? And every ponu ang abdi na they will put the seed. Seed lang grow aye, and all that. Uh, when it is time to harvest, they they don't don't pick it. oh they don't harvest like tomatoes. Okay, now it's red. Now it's red. let's cut it. They harvest it together. அரிக்கட்டுப்பாங்க சிலது கீழே விழும் சிலத அடிப்பாங்க கீழே விழும் மீதி விழுந்ததுலாம் not only those times even in our times my father was uh, from a farming family they put nariya uh, indha ground la podra nariya indha chini kelanga adha enna solluvanga sweet potatoes sweet potatoes harvest la panuvanga so abbi panumbodhu they pick the bigger ones and the smaller ones they leave it for the other poor people to come and collect so that was the earlier normal so so boas has his own uh, farmland ellathu collect pandranga collect panumbodhu whatever left over the poor people will homeless will come and collect appo abbi collect panitirukku collect panitirukumbodhu boas is coming go boas vandha one hey na onnu vela seyramaru therilla abdi nee he didn't say he greeted all the farmers hello praise lord peace peace be with you hello how are you doing so what a nice owner la hmm. appa Like he greeted all his harvesters. And not only that, when he saw Ruth, he says, Oh, come on, there is a homeless, beautiful girl. Come on, let's take over her. He made sure, he called his own people and told, Oh, nobody should touch her. He protected her. And also he called her, Ruth, come here. So, so these people are doing this. If you go, follow this pattern you will get more he gave the best guidance to get food more quicker and more productive and also he did one small thing he called his people okay whenever you are doing if you find a good thing you purposefully drop certain food so that later pick it up and she collected so much so by the guidance imagine if you are owner hey okay, pick everything she could pick everything so edhi utrainga pa ava edha tweet pera pora ella paathu paathu pannunga adha namma solluva but he purposefully asked the harvest to drop so that she will gain more algapro uh, she also told okay you are picking you might be get tired if you want water let me know there are some water here you can go have some water appo enna na needs irukko யாராவது ஒருத்தர் ஹார்வெஸ்டர்ஸ்க்கு அது பண்றதே பெரிய விஷயம் பட் ஃபார் ஸ்ட்ரேஞ்சர் நாட் ஆஃப் இஸ்ராயல் இஸ் ஓன் ட்ரைல் ஸோ ஹி இஸ் வில்லிங் டு ஹெல்ப் திஸ் மோவாபைட் அதுக்கப்புறம் என்னன்னா ஹவு ஹி இஸ் கம்பேஷனேட் இன் கிவிங் அப்ப இந்த மாதிரி நல்ல கேரக்டர் அதுக்கப்புறம் நடக்கிறது தெரியும் மென் ஹி நியூ அபவுட் தி ஹிஸ்டரி ஹி வாஸ் வாண்டட் டு லீகலி மேரி ஹர் ஸோ ஹி லீகலி மேரி அதுக்கப்புறம் பிறந்ததுதான் அதுக்கப்புறம் உள்ள டிசென்ட் ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் வேர்ஸ் நம்ம படிக்கலாமா தீவா படிக்கிறியாமா நெக்ஸ்ட் வேர்ஸ் ஆகாசத்துக்கு அடுத்த வேர்ஸ் which is the 6th verse okay and jesse the father of king david david was the father of solomon whose mother had been uriah's wife okay. so idhu varaikum i will stop here any questions so on a recap abraham isaac jacob judah and uh, raha raha is just highlighted so who is the mother of boas boas ruth namakku theriyum and then uh, next enadu uh, boas ku appuram next year ma obed obed ku appuram dev okay so obed pathi nariya bible illa we will cover the next milestone dev
So, David, what do you want to try? Bethany, you want to try, ma? You want to tell something about David? What do you know? You can tell. Tell a few um, points and then. Okay. Um, what do you know about David? Hey, any, whatever comes to your mind. Small things, big things. Uh, he was a shepherd, small shepherd. Um, he was a shepherd. Goliath. No, Goliath. Um, mm. um, he wrote poems and songs. Great. He um, wrote the highest poems. Apro? Um, That's great. Okay, so anybody else? Dan, you want to try? Okay, cool. uh, David was um, a favorable, a favorable person in God's eyes. Um, Excellent. Very good. He, um, he wasn't like a perfect man, but whenever he sinned, he would always call back to God. He never uh, turned away from God completely. He always um, looked towards God with his whole heart. Yeah. Uh, and in times of trouble, he always looked to God for help. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. So excellent. So David, even in today, there is no messages without David. Our Psalms. Any, everybody. He's part and core of core. Not only in old times, but also in real times. Right? So David is one person who can always relate to. So David is a person who has undergone all possible problems a man could under. But David, in a long challenge on the job, you know, he was treated, he was not even considered in his home. When Samuel wanted to anoint the new king, they were looking, he is calling all his brothers. And when all the brothers uh, came and God's selection was not in the list who came here. And then he had to inquire, is there any more brothers left? And then they realize, oh my God, we totally forgot. There's one guy who is in the, uh, along with, uh, he, he sh he's a shepherd. Up a week later, they forgot almost him. Not only that, he had challenges with animals, he had challenges with Goliath. And uh, there were times where uh, uh, <clears throat> his own king stood against him. He was, technically he was playing music. Uh, to King Saul, but he was sharing the music. All of a sudden, he will take his uh, uh, the, uh, the Shack. Imagine if you know if you're playing keyboard in worship, somebody in the in the congregation takes a knife and throw at you. Will you come next time to play music? He'll say, "Hell no, I'm not coming to this place to play music." But this guy was calmly coming, playing music, knowing then this king will suddenly turn uh, the weapon and throw it. And the, his own king tried to kill with all his power. Yalla, yalla arjun, only one mission, kill David. Mission, kill David. Yalla din rape they couldn't touch David. And also, one time, since people of Israelites were against him, he went to the enemy's side. He went to, along with, he fought along with Philistines for a certain time of, certain period of time. He, he went in, he were in good books of uh, Phil, uh, Philistines. And there was one time where Philistines were standing against Israelites and they wanted to fight against King Saul. So what David did, he stood along with Philistines and wanting to fight against Israel. Then the people of Philistines thought, oh my God, is that David? Oh my God, this is the guy who killed our Goliath? Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, I'm not coming to fight along with this guy because this guy killed Goliath and this guy pretending to fight against Israelites during the fight, he would change his face and he will kill us. No, I'm not ready to fight along with this guy. They told that Philist, his own people, Israelites, rejected him. 
Philistine, the enemy, he was along with this guy. Even Philistine rejected him. He got fed up. He went back to his own place. And when he saw that, his own children, his wives, cattle, everything was gone. He had just 600 men along with him. Imagine. A friend, 600 friends. Facebook friends, 600. So he had 600 friends. When people saw that 600 people took stones to kill this guy, they all tried to pick stones so that they will kill David. Imagine a life where there is no one to support. The Bible says he comforted himself in God. And he was able to recover everything. But he faced the uttermost where not even one person could stand along with him. It happened to him. That is one of the story of David. And also, God made all his enemy go away. There was one time he was so comforted, he did the sin. We know that. Not, he, he committed a sin. Not only that, he tried to cover up. Immediately, when he sins, the God did not say, hey, oh, come on, why did you do this sin? He went beyond that to cover up this. Adam and Eve, when they sinned, did God did not know that? God knew that. But all they did is when they heard God, they tried to cover themselves, tried to hide. The Bible says in Proverbs 20, it was 13, if we try to if you try to hide her, then they will, he will not have life. He will not have prosperity. If you try to hide us. That is why the Bible talks about to confess our sins and to forsake our sins. He will enjoy mercy. But what this guy did, he not only committed sin, but he wanted to cover up this sin. But the Bible says, if somebody wanted to cover up the sin, they will have no life. They will have no prosperity. You know what happened? God killed that child. Things went away. Even when God wants to testify about David, he says, God, David is after my whole heart, except the one happened. It is a star. We all always talk about hey, David, uh, the man after God's own heart. There is a star there, except the one that is happy. David is a good guy, but he tried to cover up. That was his mistake. So, and then how he dealt with the enemies. If you read all his Psalms, he had the highest enemies, not in outside, he had in his own building. He says, they, my enemy is somebody else. I don't care. The enemy is sitting, eating on my own plate. Imagine. In one narration, he says, Lord, if I close my eyes, the enemy will catch me. Imagine a sleepless life. Imagine a, a life he, he, he's been running for his life, all through his life. Even in his last days, when his own son wanted to kill him, his own counselors became against him. His own uh, relatives, Joab, and his own people, they tried to uh, put a case as if this guy killed Abner. Abner was a, a, a team when Judah and Israel were separate. So Abner was a representative. He was like a king there. He can be a king himself. But he told, no, God promised David. So he came to meet David. Oh, come on, David, you have to be a king, not only for Judah, also for Israel. He came, dined, and when he went back, David's people thought, oh my God, this guy came and came and met David and go in peace, with peace, kill him. They killed him. And they projected as if David killed him. David went and cried. And that is when people realize, oh, maybe David, David did not kill him. So all the people, his own army men was against. Not only that, in the last days, he was walking without any shoes on the mountains, crying along. 
fleeing for a, his, uh, from his own son. When his son died, he came back. When he came back, all the people were cursing. Oh, this guy, huh? he th we thought he, this guy uh, protected from Philistines. Now he fled us. Now he fled us. He fled us. People cursed it. And there was sometimes Simei, a character called Simei, he went on cursing him all through his path. And people called him, hey, David, why this dead dog should curse at you? All he has to hear, hear, he told him, God has allowed me. He has gone through the difficult where people wanted to shame him for no reason. Shame is prosperity. But one thing for sure is in all his weakness, in all his troubles, he says three things. Lord, you are the one who make me dwell. If you read Psalms chapter 4, he says, can you, can you imagine? Not even one guy who can protect. Every guy wants David to be killed. Imagine a life if you need. Currently, we don't have any news, right? Imagine a life if people wanted to kill. Every other guy wanted to kill us. That is the life of David. But in all his situation, David said, Lord, you are the one who make me dwell in safety. I close my eyes. I don't know whether I will be opening my eyes or not. But I open my eyes. Lord, your hand is holding me because nobody has killed, put my hand. You know what is the greatest blessing David had? Every guy wanted to kill David. But in all his life, not even one, including his son, could put the hand on him. That is why the Bible says he writes his experience. I have a God who will not let the wish of the enemy. You know, they, the enemy have hundred wishes. In this case, all his enemy wanted to see him die. But the Lord did not allow that. He had a natural death. Nobody killed him, but that is the blessing God, David got. Isn't, isn't that interesting? So that is why David is not only amidst of his weakness, he is one of the greatest kings because God was his side. And that is why he says, because God is on my right side. I will not be shaken. Nobody could shake. Nobody can plot him to death. In the Bible, you can see so much plot how people killed each other or how people were killed by somebody very close to him. In some cases, their own son killed him. Kings of Israel and other kings too. The Bible records a lot of situations. But that did not happen to David. So David is one of the greatest prophets, great, greatest poets, greatest king ever in the history of Judah and ever in the history of any human history. So our son, Namagadari Solomon. Solomon Bati Namila Sunday School in particular. We heard of Solomon's intelligence. So in all the kings, Solomon's period was the golden era. When I say golden era, I literally speak golden. Okay. So he was dealing with a lot of gold. And he was full of peace. There is no war during the period of Solomon. He spent a lot of effort clearing the mess what happened in David. So whatever the enemies before David died, he gave a list of cheat, cheat sheet to Solomon. Oh, Solomon, these are the people. I promise that I will not touch them, but it doesn't mean that you have you cannot touch him. 
you can go and kill. He cleared all his enemies, whatever who stood against David, Joab, and uh, <clears throat> and other other Simei. He cleared one after the other, and he cleaned up what happened during the time of David, and then he had a common peaceful era. And he spent a lot of time busy. You know, when an idle mind is devil's workshop, so he didn't keep himself uh, idle, but rather he kept other people also busy by building stuff. He had a lot of build projects. He just built this temple for seven years. Imagine with gold, gold platings, all types of uh, this thing. It was massive. Nobody built a uh, temple like this before him. And the Bible also talks about there was nobody like Solomon before him and after him. Did he make a mistake? Yes, he did. He was the most intelligent guy, but he didn't have the heart to hear to God. In his last days, he married ungodly people. The Bible says ungodly people. They are nice people, but ungodly people. Because of them, that ungodly people put his heart inclined towards other gods. God came and showed himself in person twice, but still with all the wisdom of his mind, all the wisdom of his world, he didn't have that knowledge to incline to God. He didn't have a heart to incline with all the ultimate knowledge here. He, all he did he inclined towards other gods. That is the end of Solomon. So next, uh, we are going to quickly uh, cover a few more things. Rehoboam. Rehoboam, was he a good person? He was so, after uh, Solomon, there was a Rehoboam. Unfaithful to God. But one part of them, God got angry. Oh, this guy is unfaithful to me. Let me destroy. Destroy this guy. But when God wanted to do that, he immediately he humbled himself to God. So God did not completely destroy the Judah because he had mercy, because he promised uh, David that he will put a lamp in the history. So he protected, he did not kill Roha, Rehoboam. He just lived. And after his time, things got splitting off. So there was Israel kingdom, there was a, um, a Judah kingdom. So there was always fight all through his life. And after that, Abijah. Abijah was the character. I think in the West Lamarki, Yara at the Padigra, Kadesi Yara Tio Pachilama, Bethany Padigama? Solomon the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam, the father of Abijah, Abijah, the father of Asa. Okay, very good. We will start there. Abijah. Abijah. Mm -hmm. The Abijah, yeah, Rabina, is he a good guy? Yeah, he is a good guy. Was he victorious? Yeah, he was victorious. The Bible says he is victorious. Mm -hmm. Why he was victorious? Because the Bible says he completely relied on God. Solomon was there. He built a lot of things. At last time, he did not incline. Rehoboam, unfaithful guy. But he humbled himself. God did not kill him. Okay, I will just because of David, I am blaming you. And just because you humbled, I am blaming you. Abijah was a good guy. He was victorious. He, his intention was to completely rely on God. Lord, I am completely dependent on you. He said that he was victorious. Next, Asa. Ethan, Selvin, are you there? Ethan, Selvin. If you are there, you can unmute and read. Eight verse. Okay, yeah. So if Ethan is not there, I can Dan, can you read it more? Eight verse. Asa the father of Josephat, Joseph the father of Jehoram, Jehoram okay. Asa now background. Asa. Hmm? Uh, Okay, so this Asa, was he a good guy? Yeah, he is a good guy. Hmm? He did one thing. He searched, always seek God. Where is God? 
அப்படி ஆண்டவர் தேடுற ஒரு பர்சன் அண்ட் ஹி ஒபேட் காட் நாட் ஓன்லி ஹி ஒபேட் காட் ஹி மேட் ஷுர் இஸ் பீப்புள் ஒபேட் காட் அதுக்கப்புறம் என்ன பண்ணார் ஹி செட் அ ஒண்டர்ஃபுல் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் அவர் சொன்ன எது அப்படின்னா ஆண்டவரே பலன் உள்ளவர்களுக்காகிலும் பலன் இல்லாதவர்களுக்காகிலும் உதவி செய்கிறது பேசாங்க அந்த சாங்கத்தில் லார்ட் இட் ஹெல்ப் த பவர்லெஸ் அகேன்ஸ்ட் த மைட் பலவான ஒருத்தவன் இருக்கிறான் நான் பவர்லெஸ்ஸா இருக்கிறேன் பட் ஒன்லி யூ தர் இஸ் நோ ஒன் லைக் யூ காட் டு ஹெல்ப் த பவர்லெஸ் இன் ஃப்ரண்ட் ஆஃப் த மைட் அப்படின்ற வேர்டை சொன்னது he was fully committed to god all his we road irund varaikum asa was fully committed and he know that he was powerless he also know that only god is the only god all over the world who can help a powerless in front of a mighty people apa adukapra enna panna joseph joseph he is a very good guy joseph has pathi yosabath அப்படின்றது <laughs> is there any other prophet man of god i wanted to see that and he heard he wanted to always consult to the right person even the 400 prophet said no i wanted to clearly hear consulting with god he always consulted with god the bible says because of that his kingdom was in his control the bible says that because he did that the kingdom was in full control. and he also say the bible also say he devoted to uh, devoted always to look in the walk in the way of god since he did all these things there was one beautiful written, uh, bible verse that has been written because of this because he was always putting his ways to god because he was always in committed to god one thing happened he didn't fight battles but because of that the all the kingdom had fear gripped in their heart oh joseph but joseph and belo joseph people were gripped with fear the bible says that so he had nobody there to fight the battle in joseph joseph in some battles he has to help along with this guy small guys israelites but nobody dared to fight oh joseph was there only one sanda polu and nobody dared to do that because he was the devoted to god finally uh, nam i think we will take one more minute we are at four uh, joram his son was he a good guy no he was a bad guy because uh, god made a covenant oh god made a covenant to David, that, oh, I will continue the lamp. Now, you can see the lamp. I didn't tell you. David, God promised. He made a covenant with David. So, because of that, he don't want to destroy this guy altogether. Rather, he gave him a disease with a bowel syndrome. Bowel syndrome. He died because of that. என்ன he got in uh, indulged with ahab ahab is one of the baddest king in the history of israel appa ivungala judah oda kings israel ku or king list adha the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst abidana 
ஆஹாப் அந்த ஆஹாபோட சேர்ந்துட்டு அஹ் அப்படியே இருக்கக்கூடிய ஒரு விஷயம் ஆஹாவோட சன்னோடையும் சேர்ந்து இருக்கிறோம் அப்போ ஒரு டைம்ல காட் வாண்ட் கிளியர் திஸ் அந்த அப்ப அந்த ஆஹாபுடைய மனைவி அப்ப அப்ப அவங்க ஃபுல்லாத்தையும் அந்த ஃபேமிலியே அன்டிஸ்ட்ராயபுளா மாறிட்டான் அப்ப ஆண்டர் சொல்றாரு ஜெஹு அப்படின்ற ஒரு ஆளை சூஸ் பண்ண He wanted to clear everybody. Then he went to the king of Israel. He went to the son of Israel. He went to the son of Israel. He went to the son of Israel. Then 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 he went to the son of Israel. After all, he is the king of Judah. Okay. Just because his father Joseph was there. and his father david served the lord and they always sought the lord i don't want this guy to be dead on the floor avana and kingly idukku honor kuduthu avana adagam pannunga apdinte jehu made sure when he is destroying hahab's family without not even a dog remaining that's what the bible says not even a dog remaining he cleared out all the இவனும் மாட்டிக்கிட்டான் அதுக்கப்புறம் பார்த்தாங்கன்னா அவனு சொன்ன அமேசியா அமேசியா வசி குட் கி குட் பட் நாட் குட் நாட் ஃபுல்லி குட் இங்க வந்து ஜோசபாத் ஆல்வேஸ் கன்சல்டட் காட் ஓன்லி பட் திஸ் கை அமேசியா ஹி கன்சல்டட் அதர் காட்ஸ் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் தட் ஹி இஸ் ஓன் பீப்புள் கிளீடு அப்படியே அவனு ஓன் பீப்புள் அப்புறம் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஹுசியா ஹுசியா ஒன் ஆஃப் தி கிரேட்டஸ்ட் கிங்ஸ் அப்ப பைபிள் வந்து ஹுசியா வந்து ஒன் ஆஃப் தி லேண்ட் மார்க் சொல்லப்பட்டது ஹுசியா ராஜா மரணம் அடைந்த இரண்டாவது வருஷத்துல ஹுசியா ராஜா மரணம் அடைந்த மூணாவது வருஷத்துல தி பைபிள் நரேட்ஸ் லைக் தட் சோ ஹுசியா வாஸ் அ அனதர் மைஸ்டர் வை ஹி ஃபியர் தி லார்ட் ஹி சாட் தி லார்ட் அண்ட் ஹி பிகேம் சக்சஸ் அண்ட் ஃபேமஸ் வெரி குயிக்லி बिकॉज ஹி வாஸ் பாஃப் he he became so powerful so quickly ella abdi keerthi abdo fast of like wild fire he became so powerful and he came so higher and higher he did lot of he reinvented new weapons the invention of new weapons how it should be used all these things when he was full of pride he did he did one thing he thought let me be also a, a priest appa and i was telling this example in even in hebrew we can be either a king or a priest so this guy being a king he was full of pride he wanted to do the honors like a servant of god he went into the temple though god want no don't do it don't he never heard he wanted to burn the incense as he was doing that people were looking at him his forehead started to get leprosy by looking at it oh my god he realized it he wanted to himself go out but still people walked him out though it was too late for him to realize he was a leper all his life he was a greatest king but when he died they put him in the tomb and all people said was hey man he could be a greatest king but he was a leper he was a leper that's what people repeated repeated okay jodam jodam was he a good king yes he was a good king but he did not make the mistakes what his father did he did not burn incense oh oh my god i won't do it just leave me alone so he did not he did not repeat the mistakes what rosia did he was good he was as powerful as his father and he retained his powerfulness without any pride next ahas ahas was he a good man no he was a bad man and he was so unfaithful to god he did all the bad stuff hesekiah hesekiah was he a good good man yes he was a good man there was two incident that happened one uh, there are several incident he made sure whatever damage done by uzia whatever damage is done before he rectified he spent a lot of time in rectifying temple whatever is done 
making sure priority is in uh, 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 temple and his activities. Two things happened in his life. One, there was a time where uh, the enemy challenged him. Hey, man, there is nobody can deliver you or your people. Even God cannot do it. Ch- check all the history, all the people around you, all the countries around you. Every country is in our control. There is no God could save you, uh, other uh, other countries. And that will be the same thing. It will happen to you. Your God cannot save you. He went. When he heard this, when he heard this letter, he just put it on the floor. He told, Lord, I'm hearing this. It's true. I cannot fight it. But one thing I know for sure. I wanted to give birth. Like a person, he's giving an example. A person who wanted to give birth, you, you might have heard about the story. So when people wanted to give birth, they have to have full strength. They will get a divine strength from God to push the baby out. Right? So he is telling, I wanted to push the baby out, but I don't, I'm at the, the baby is at the, at the tip, but now I don't have any strength to push. In that real-time situation, what will happen is the baby will die and the mother could also die. So he's telling and narrating an example. Lord, I'm like a person who is about to deliver a baby. It's almost there, but I don't have enough strength to push it. And he has strength to the Lord. God did. Come on, Ezekiel. You're not going to fight the battle. Just wake up in the morning. Just look for that. Your enemy who were challenged, he will go back. He will change his heart. He will go back and he will die. So likewise, he got up. His enemy, all the one angel came and killed all the army men. And because of that, he changed his heart. He went, when he went to his hometown, he was killed by other people, his own son. So that is what happened in the life of Isaac. Second incident. He had a sickness. He had a sickness. He was about to die. Uh, the prophet said, oh man, you're going to die? Make things straight. So he cried. He couldn't do anything. He turned towards the wall and he cried. When he cried, God heard his prayer and gave him 15 years. After this incident happened, one more uh, thing happened. People from Babylon came with gifts, wanted to meet him. Hey, Ezekiel, we heard you were so sick. We wanted to meet you. And Prophet Isaiah was listening to it. Oh, what's happening? So Prophet Isaiah heard something. Okay, something is happening. Oh, then he heard one thing. And he inquired to Prophet Isaiah, came to Ezekiel. Hey, guys, who is this uh, strangers coming into our palace? They didn't come from Antarctica. They run. <laughs> Babylon is somewhere here. Closer. But he used to explain, oh, they came from very, very far away. You know, they gave me gifts. In turn, what he did? He opened all this uh, secret. He didn't hide even one thing. Immediately, the word of God came through. Prophet Isaiah, he told that. He's like, yeah. You did a bad thing. So because of this, your generations will be bound towards Babylon. They will wipe every blessing you had. They will take all the gold, or everything. The city will be destroyed. Although it will not happen in your life. It happened later here. Okay, this is the story. I'll put a manase. Manase, his son. Was he a bad guy? Yes, he was a bad guy. What did the enemy, God let him into the hands of the enemy. The enemy, what they did, they took a hook. You know, fishing hook, they took a hook. They put, put them into the nose. He was dragged to Babylon. While he was going to Babylon, he thought, oh God, I had a God who took care of good of me. I had a very good God. God, 
I forgot that God because of which people are hooking into my nose and dragging me. They're putting bronze sangli ellam pottu abdi iruthittu poraangale andavare idu irukkirile abdi he started humbling and praying to God. You know what God did? In ever in the history when people catch kings they will kill them. What instead what did God help them to not go as a slave? God brought him back to Jerusalem. After coming to Jerusalem, he realized that he had a good God. And then he turned his heart. And he turned from bad to good. And he started doing good. Abra, Amun. Amen. Amen. He was evil. He had a guilt. He got killed. He had a guilt. He got killed. Abra, Amun. his son josiah was he a good person he was a good person he did a lot of good things and uh, things went well there's lot of stories about josiah he is the youngest king and also he did lot of things for god he also did what hezekiah did he did what uzziah did he did a lot of good things in the time of uzziah so there's two more character so next josiah son johas he became king and within few days he was dethroned by the king of egypt and other guy came jeconia when jeconia came as a king he realized that okay man i cannot handle this he and his mother and went to, and went to nebgad nature and tell uh, nebgad nature mr ba- babylon king king of babylon this is i am who i am if you want arrest me arrest me so they arrested him took him to babylon and he spent 37 to 38 years there there is much after that there is nothing much to be said here but after 37 years 12 months almost 30 years nebuchad nature thought oh my god there was one guy who i got it from who is the king check in the prison so they went and checked, checked in the prison and they found this king jeconia who is still alive after 38 years oh come on he is a king oh though he is a bad guy that's fine bring him so what they did is they changed the bible says they changed all the prison clothes and gave him a good haircut they gave him a kingly robe and king nebgad nature talked to him very politely kindly hey i am so sorry man this happened to you he talked very kindly politely aunt pachamai anbai pesina apdi solla solli ivar enna pannaru in the name of nature fellow kings la irukangala avangalukku ulle same honor ange kudutha he became a, he told that he will be one of the king honor so ivar every month there will be a food given he will dine along with the king and also if he wants anything to spend that will be give, given from the king a house money will be gone month on month so that he can spend as a king like a king he lived all his life imagine i wanted to stop here imagine the baddest guy in the bible he was in prison sent by god he was there for 38 years but still god was good enough to bring this man again provide him with all like a king we honor imagine about manasse he was the bad guy he, he was hooked in his nose and pulled to babel imagine god brought to malaire and put back in jerusalem as a king this is the history of manasse and after this there is a much good people in the kingly and after that finally joseph comes after uh, maybe like five six generation joseph the father of jesus comes so one observation you see is the bible says in this history messiah comes if you see few names here hahasia amasia osia ezekia 
Saya. Jekoya. Sidekia. Masaya. It's rhyming, right? It's like a Tamil in the cinema in the city. Yeah. Like it's, so what a coincidence. Messiah was also born in the same history. So we will stop here. And one take home point is, with all this history, we had good and bad. We have good people and bad people. And all we could see is who are cling to God. They became powerful. Who had committed themselves to God, they become so powerful. And in that generation, God brought a savior so that not only they led a good life, saved people as a king. A king was born so that he will not only save his Jude, the people of Judah, but also through him, all the people. That is the way the Bible says in Matthew chapter 1, Verses 21. We are going to stop here. Okay. Ethan, if you are still there, you can read it or we can give it to Kevin. Kevin, uh, Ethan, are you still there? Ethan, uh, Selvin. Okay. If not, uh, Kevin, can you read uh, Matthew chapter 1, verse 21 and we can stop. She will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. He will save his people from his sins. Not the king, not the people of just the Judah, but he will save all the people. That is the blessing, what God wants to give us this evening. So in the genealogy, Fulham, we will complete, we have completed. So how did you feel? It's a lot of information. It's about a lot of kings. Uh, we'll just take a moment to get some feedback. Dan, Theo, Bethany, Sheena, Kevin. So how do you feel uh, about uh, history in short? It's time for feedback. Yeah, it was very interesting. Uh, it's cool to see how it's all connected and how all the stories are there, leading all the way up to Jesus. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Sheena, how do you feel about uh, the story? Uncle, it, it was really like detailed and a lot of these characters we learned about like in Sunday school but in a very like basic level but here we can see the comparisons and differences between them. Do you, uh, do you have any uh, thing what, what what did you like any any of the good kings? Yeah Some uncle, impressive I, kings. yeah I just like generally like all the kings who actually like depended on God because they ended up being blessed by God so yeah. Yeah. Brittany, you have anything to share? I just like Kevin and Sheila said, like, it's kind of cool to see how everything really works. And uh, the characters are on the characters. So, I just want to basic mm -hmm. stuff. And now we go really in depth and understand, like, how everything really happens. So it's interesting. True. true. <laughs> Dan, do you have anything to share? I'm uncle. Um, I just finished reading uh, One Kings and Two Kings, uh, uncle. So okay, so yeah. you might be must, must be familiar with the story. Okay, uh, excellent. Yeah. And so, I like so. it matched with Matthew and Jesus, the genealogy, how it all worked. Out. It was really nice. So, yeah. yeah. So as a genealogy, just on a high level, it may not make any sense. But what we know is people delivered people. So from Abraham to Messiah, they were deliverers and they were delivering themselves in some cases like Manasseh and where people will turn to God. And so that is why uh, it's very important for us to look to God, come to God through the Messiah. So he, he is the assurance so that through him, whoever looks unto him, their face will be enlightened. That is why you can see any person in the world. It's a good thing. Who are looks at him? Oh, man. man. Are you a Tamilian? Are you a Telugu person? No, no, no. I think you are a Mexican. Spanish guy. No. Nobody cares. So, whoever looks at him, who believes in his name, will be saved. Okay? Over to Arlena. Thank you, ma. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jasper.